Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I am back with another video. Thank you for coming. Cake Miss Christmas is so good. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. 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 All right guys, happy Sunday to you. No, there's no soul food today. I'm actually making two cakes. I have to make one for my grandmother and one for my mother. So I'm going to make them two six flavor pound cakes with a vanilla icing. All right, let's get started. Okay, pretty much same ingredients I used the other day for the strawberry cake. Two sticks of Land Lakes unsalted butter, room temperature, and a half a stick of Crisco shortening. Okay, we're going to get this in here into the mixer. Let this start whipping up on low. All right. And as that mixes, we will add, I already have it pre-measured, three cups of sugar. Here's two cups and then here's one. So we'll go ahead and add the one cup. And let this all mix and get nice and creamy. Or shall I say nice and silky? Okay. Let's add this. Want the gas to see it. There we go. So did you guys, what did you think of the strawberry cake? Anyone tried the recipe? It's a really simple recipe. And this is a simple recipe as well. It's not hard. Getting this sugar in here may be harder than actually. Okay. I want to get it all in there. All right. So that's the three cups of sugar. I'm going to let this mix for a minute. And then we will add our eggs. Same way I did them yesterday. This is actually, well, I'll tell you when we get to that. So we're going to need uh, six eggs, five eggs, and then one egg yolk, okay? So, let's crack the first egg. And I do them one at a time, because you don't want to do them all at once, you'll have an eggy cake. And I crack them and put them in a separate bowl to make sure there's no eggshells in there. You don't want eggshells in your cake, all right? So, here's one egg. These are large eggs, okay? I like my shirt. I love my shirt. I have some more coming Monday. Yes. I'm just gonna wear them in every video. <laughs> you have to support yourself. Okay, that's egg number three. Thank you, Sentin' Mo, once again. I love them. All right, egg number four. And it's creaming up nice, nice, just the way it should be. All right, egg number five. And I'm going to have to do this process twice because I'm going to put both cakes in the oven at the same time. The oven is um, preheating to 325 right now. So I'm only gonna show you the process once though. Egg number five. And now this egg, we're going to separate egg white. Okay. I'm getting better with this.
All right, and there's the yolk. Okay, now we're going to add our flavor. Okay, we're gonna start out with a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of rum. And these flavors, you don't have to add all of these flavors if you don't want to, it's totally up to you. So I'm going to pour them separately so they won't get too much in the cake. I strictly want it to be half a teaspoon of rum. These flavors really do come together nicely. Half a teaspoon of almond. Half a teaspoon of butter flavor. And I'm showing you step by step, so there's no reason that you can't make this cake for yourself. Half a teaspoon of coconut. Half a teaspoon of lemon. They changed this lemon, it looks, but it's lemon flavor. It just looks really weird. <laughs> okay. Just get a full half a teaspoon in here. It's a little bit thicker, seems like. Okay. Lemon smells good too. All right. Then a, t a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And you can use whatever brand you want. I would just suggest for your um, butter, use Land Lakes. But you don't have to use McCormick seasonings if you don't want to, or flavors, shall I say. All right, now that we have that out the way, next we are going to pour up one cup of buttermilk. It's at room temperature. So one cup of buttermilk. Make sure I get a full cup. Now we're going to start adding our cake flour. The cake flour has a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of baking powder already in here and I've mixed it together. Now we're going to add this to the mixture slowly. Alternating between the buttermilk and the flour, we will end with the flour. That'll be the last thing you put in here before we let it mix up to get ready for the cake pan. All right, here we go. Try to go slow because it will pop up and go everywhere. Add a little bit of the milk. No matter how hard you try, you're going to get some spills, just clean it up, okay? Okay, some more cake flour. And that last egg yolk I put in there was strictly to make the case extra moist, okay? I'm sure there's a lot of recipes out there for pound cakes. That's just my recipe. And I tweaked it and found that it works well for me. Some more cake flour. Some more milk. For the remainder of the cup of buttermilk. Okay. 
The original recipe called for whole milk, but I decided to use buttermilk in my cakes. And the remainder of the flour. All right, now what we're going to do, wipe up just a little bit. Now I'm going to cut this off and scrape the sides really well, okay? I know you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm scraping, getting all of the mixture together. I don't want anything going to waste up in here. Okay. Let's get it all together. And we're gonna let this mix for about 10 minutes. start cleaning up and getting things ready for the next cake because I'm going to put them both in the oven at the same time okay I'm gonna go up under make sure we get the bottom of the pan the bowl as well the mixing bowl it's already a nice color and I smell those flavors in here too guys this smells really good you need to try this recipe. You can do it. I smell the coconut, the lemon, I smell all of it. All right. Turn that up a little bit and just let this mix and get nice and silky. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to butter both cake pans and then start prepping the re uh, ingredients for the next cake, all right? So again, we're going to need a half a stick of the shortening. Go ahead and get that on here. Two sticks of room temperature butter. Just getting this ready for the next cake. You gotta work smart. You're gonna bake two cakes at the same time. You got to stay ahead of the game. Almost 
excess batter off of the mixing ladle here, paddle, whatever you want to call it. That's why I need these gloves on. I don't want to leave any of this good batter in here. One of my grandkids was here. They could take this little paddle and have a ball. Okay, let me put this over in the sink. Okay, I'm going to take this off. And get ready to pour this cake mixture up into our buttered pan, all right? Just go around. Come back and get it all together here. You don't want to leave any of this good batter in this pan. Get all of it, okay? Now, like we did yesterday, you're just gonna take it, shake it up, get it all nice and even, okay? Because you want it to be nice and even, and then do this. About eight to 10 times. Yesterday I said four. All right, guys, 
We have the first one ready. I'm going to get the second cake ready. Then we're going to put them both in the oven at the same time. All right, I will bring you guys back in a little bit. All right, guys, so the second cake is um, out of the oven. Well, not out the oven. The second cake is in the pan. I just poured it up. Gonna get it ready for the oven. Okay, so I have two six flavor pound cakes. I'm gonna put them in the oven. They're gonna bake for about an hour and 20 minutes or so. I'll check them after about 30 to 45 minutes. Then I like, after they set, I like to rotate them so it'll brown nice and evenly around all of the edges. Okay, I will bring you guys back in a minute and we will make our vanilla lemon icing, all right? Let's put the cakes in the oven. Bring you guys back in a minute, all right? Thank you. All right, guys, let's get ready to make our homemade vanilla lemon icing for our two pound cakes. Two cups of confectionate sugar. I've already measured two cups, and I have it in here. Confectionate sugar. Two tablespoons of softened butter, so you just one, two. It's already measured for you. Just pretty much cut it right there at the little line and put it in there. All right, then we're going to need a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Just a fourth of a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. There you go. And then a half a teaspoon of lemon. Same lemon that I use for the cakes. This lemon. There we go. Come on out of there. All right. Got that in there. And now, three to four tablespoons of whole white milk. So you're going to have to eyeball this because you don't want your icing to be too stiff and you don't want it to be too runny. So want to start out with one, two, three tablespoons. We're going to start off with three tablespoons, okay? And let's just start mixing here. Mix it up. Smell the lemon. Imagine this icing on that nice warm cake. Yum, yum, yummy. You have to try this recipe. Making icing isn't that hard. It's simple. Now you're just gonna mix it up. Y'all cooking today? You cooking Sunday? No food for me. Just dessert. All right, let's let's test it here. Gonna get it all mixed in around the edges. Same way we did with the cake. Get everything. See, right now it's a little too stiff. It's more like for cupcakes. I don't want it that stiff, so I'm going to add a little bit more milk to it. The cakes have been baking for about 35 minutes. They're starting to set. They're doing good. Baking on 325. Like I said, the original recipe says 350, but my oven was getting too hot and it was burning them. So you may need to adjust the temp for your oven. It depends on how it bakes. Okay, I'm gonna add another tablespoon of milk. So that's four tablespoons so far. This should loosen it up quite a bit. All 
right, let's see how it's looking. Because I want to be able to drizzle it over the cakes when I'm icing them. So let me see. I think I'm going to add one more tablespoon, so that'll be five. Again, I want it just right. I don't want it too thick, but I don't want it really loose. I want it just right. So that's why I say you have to eyeball it, okay? You're gonna have to just eyeball it and add more milk as needed. So I'm gonna do one more tablespoon, okay? That's the consistency I want. All right, we have the icing done. When I come back, guys, we'll be time to put icing on the cake. All right, guys, I'm back. Both cakes are out of the oven and it is time to put the icing on it, okay? Make my camel muffin here. I need another one so I can have matching. But anyway, let's try and turn, oh, let me show you this. This is what I use to check to see if my cakes are done. This is like a score, something you do the um, kebabs on, and it's long enough, so I just stick it in there. When it comes out dry, the cake is ready. Okay, let's get the first cake. Okay, so what I'm going to do, put that on top. Nice and even here. Whoa. Uh oh. <laughs> That's kind of heavy. I hope it's cooled down enough to where it's not cracked. Here's the second cake. All right, let's do the same thing with the second cake. These oven mitts are so big. You know what? I can flip it better with just a regular Okay. All right. So here we have both cakes. Let's put the icing on it. I like to put icing on them when they're still fairly just a little bit warm so the icing will, you know, sort of melt into it. go around and you can put as much icing as you want it's totally up to you and it'll melt and then glaze up caramelize into the cake All 
right, that's looking really good. I'm going to add just a few more drizzles of icing. Okay. See why I wanted it to be a little loose so I could drizzle it. I didn't want the icing to be too stiff. I wanted it to be able to run down the sides of the cake. There we have it. Two homemade pound, six flavor pound cakes from scratch with a homemade vanilla lemon icing, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Eat With Philly Phil. Oh, you know what I need you to do? I need you to like comment, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoyed it, okay? Share the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Press that red subscribe button, all right? You guys have a good Sunday and a good week. Uh, hopefully, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.